Snow's ruined. It's not ruined. Oh, pretty. See, look, I like the green. Who ever heard of green snow? It's magical. Come here. We'll get you cleaned up, okay? <coughs> it's okay. Hmm. Are you okay? <coughs> Zero. I'm impressed. You didn't even flinch. <laughs> I just went to my happy place. We cannot let House anywhere near this woman. Where is your happy place? My class. With them. Pass the first mark. It's a great thing you do. Not really. For most kids, typical children, you hand them a pair of scissors and they cut. Well, Tony, he's got CP. And when I gave him scissors, we went on a journey together learning to get his fingers in those holes, to hold the scissors apart, to hold the paper. I mean, when he finally learned to cut, we both just wept with joy. <laughs> if you ever meet our boss, just yes or no answers, okay? Not slowing up, no sign of clotting. So there is something wrong with my blood? Don't worry, we'll run some lab tests to find out which clotting factor's off and then- I'm not worried. Must be one hell of a happy place. What about a calcified valve or a patent frame in Ovalie? Transthoracic echo and bubble study show nothing. Her heart's clean. The patient said she had to go pee. Maybe when she got up, she started to urinate, increased the vagal tone, caused arrhythmia, and stopped her heart. Who has to go pee in the middle of a nuclear procedure? It wasn't really a nuclear procedure. She didn't know that. People don't die from peeing. Heavy metal, toxin. Drugs or alcohol. Or her own body's making a toxin. Cold agglutinins. Abnormal protein gets activated by cold temperatures. Like the classroom with the broken heater and the cold metal table in the procedural. Oh, for God's sake, get a room. Immerse her in an ice bath. Cold will activate her cold agglutinins. Causing her heart to race. Confirming our diagnosis. And giving her another heart attack. Lucky for me, there's a flaxen-haired maiden who loves to say yes. Not only will this allow us to clock your brain's processing speed, you also get free cable for the first three months. What's this? A blue car. Is that part of the test? Nope. My lease is up next month. You like? I'm gonna ask you a series of questions designed to stimulate left brain function. Logic, reasoning, problem solving. Or as my mentor, old Ben, liked to call it, the dark side. Mm. We find slow areas, we know we found damage. We treat, we go home. Ready? I nod yes, but I can't. Move my head. This pen is red. Its ink is red. Is all ink red? No. Nerve conduction is 12.8 meters per second, right within range. Cameron's letting him cut into our patient's skull based on nothing but dead bugs and someone else's runny nose. There are two pints in a quart, four quarts in a gallon. How many pints in five gallons? House, step away from the patient. <laughs> Who's that? It's my old boss. And by old, I don't mean former. Insulting me is not gonna make me go away. You're not here. Obviously, I'm not trying to make you go away. Hint, the answer is a number. Um, 40? 12.4 meters per second. Conduction's still normal. Dr. Cameron, you're actually assisting him with this? Yes, because I'm actually familiar with this case. Well, I'm familiar enough to know that cutting into this woman's brain is not necessary. Is she serious? She's certainly not funny. Put the phone down, pick up the baby. Make us all happy. Okay, settle down, baby, it's okay. We'll be done in a minute. House, I can call security, I can- BP's dropping. Get it back up, we got a whole stack of these. Give her 10 cc's dopamine. Already am, thanks. Your baby needs you a lot more than we do. You aren't hungry, you aren't wet. I don't know what it is. Oh, that is so annoying. Can you make it stop? Baby's crying is annoying you? That's her nerve conduction. 14.3, it's actually speeding up. But her BP's 80 over palp, we're gonna have to stop. Ugh. That doesn't make any sense. The fact that you're wrong doesn't make any sense, or the fact that I believe that you were right. BP's still dropping, she's gonna stroke. Yeah. Giving her 10 more cc's, and I'm putting an end to this. Okay, Rachel, quiet down! I need 
need you to be quiet. Please turn that phone off. Why does the baby annoy you, but no one else does? And you're right about her. But... She's stable. We're finished here. Close her up. So I can just live spleen free? Plenty of people live perfectly normal lives without spleen's fine. It's not her brain. Of course it's her brain. You looked at her brain. You took off her skull. You found nothing. Didn't look in the right part. Didn't look in the heart part. In the womb, blood has to bypass the lungs since they don't work yet. When we're born, we take our first big breath, lungs expand, and the ductus closes. Yours didn't. She has a patent ductus arteriosus. When you get stressed, blood pressure goes up, forces open the ductus. Blood takes a little detour, makes a leak from your nose, your stomach, your lungs, and more significantly, keeps it flowing to the right side of your brain and away from your left. Which means that when you get stressed, you get unstressed. That's why you're so good with those annoying kids and why, when your blood pressure dropped, you were able to identify Cuddy as an annoying human being. Good news is, we can fix the heart. Bad news for the annoying kids.